Here's another look at the Pack Stadium, uh, Lucas Oil Stadium, as the Boilermakers are taking on Michigan right now. And it's a cold night in Indianapolis, 23 degrees, wind chill 15, with the winds out of the west at 7 miles per hour. But we are talking about no wind gusts. The wind has really died down once that cold front really started to move off to the east and high pressure system getting a little bit closer. But most of us have dropped down into the 20s at this point, a little bit closer to 30 in Bedford. It's 29 currently, 22 for you in Kokomo, while it's 25 in Muncie. And we look at our temperature change over the past 24 hours. We are about 30 degrees colder. Remember last evening we were still holding on to the 50s because of the strong winds out of the south. Well, as we look over the next five hours, temperatures are going to continue to drop a few more degrees, looking at those early morning lows dropping down into the teens. So it's going to be a cold morning around 8 o'clock, jumping back up into the 20s and around 11 o'clock, getting closer to that freezing point. But we're going to have sunshine throughout the morning, but definitely going to need that hot coffee to warm you up if you have any plans tomorrow morning. We're looking at forecast highs in the upper 30s and low 40s, so slight improvement. And if you're heading out to the Christmas at the zoo tomorrow evening. Definitely need to have those coats around 5 o'clock. Temperatures are still going to be up in the upper 30s, but we'll be sliding down into the low 30s by 7, 8 o'clock with those clear skies. Now we will have some changes on the way. Live Doppler 13 though, showing that high pressure system that's going to be in control today or was in control today and will continue to be in control tomorrow. Now fast forward into Monday, majority of the day is going to be pretty quiet. We will have an increase in cloud cover and a few showers mainly for southern Indiana for the afternoon, but that's going to spread to the north as this storm system kind of slides a cold front into our area for the overnight hours into Tuesday. A weak high pressure system is going to bring a little bit of dry weather throughout the day on Tuesday, but quickly we just have a really active weather pattern setting up for this upcoming week. Another chance for rain late on Tuesday and rolling into Wednesday morning, and that's not even our best chance for rain. A stronger storm system is going to bring some scattered showers throughout the day on Thursday, and that could linger in to the upcoming weekend as well. So seven day forecast. It is going to be sunny tomorrow with a high of 40, 44 to start off your week on Monday with a few late day showers. We're going to see our temperatures slowly warm back up into the 50s for the middle of this upcoming week with scattered rain showers by Thursday.